Hey guys, how are we all doing? Uh, so the other day I put a uh, story uh, on my Instagram for Q&A, some questions, so time to answer them. Got them on my phone here, so let's do it. What to do to improve or restore eyesight as someone who wears glasses? So first thing you can do is you can take them off at sunrise and just watch the sunrise directly uh, eyes and the uh, the light in the eyes is perfect um, and then just keep building that up and do the sunset as well and I'm sure that will definitely improve your eyesight uh, read the book we want to live uh, for more kind of stuff like that but definitely just get more light natural light into your eyes uh, definitely like sunrise and stuff like that and obviously like eating the right things so you can actually absorb the sunlight um, but yeah, just getting more natural light into your eyes because yeah, eyewear and glasses and stuff is is not ideal uh, for absorbing the, the sun. Um, right, how many carbs per day? Look, I don't really do all those kind of like carbs, like counting calories anymore. I did for a bit, not that long actually, but I used to count how, how much I was like, eating and all that stuff but to be honest if I'm feeling good if I'm looking good if my skin's looking good then that's 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 all I need to know I don't need to know how many calories I'm eating or how much carbs or protein I'm eating and plus a lot of that stuff end of the day you're just eating just shit like shit junk food processed food protein shakes all that stuff yeah it's got 40 grams of protein per shake but like is it actually real protein? Is it actually good protein that's going to help rebuild uh, tissue? No. Raw meat, raw eggs, raw, raw eggs. So yeah, I don't do all those count per calorie stuff. Um, I think that's kind of all kind of a scam and just like marketing scam to try and uh, sell more like protein gainers, shakes and powders to you. So the, my answer to that, how many car carbs per day? is I don't actually know the carbs that I eat is just like fruit, uh, raw dairy, um, potatoes, sweet potatoes, white rice. That's pretty much it. And maybe some sourdough bread. That's kind of the kind of carbs I kind of eat. I obviously avoid like oats and cereals and stuff like that. Next question. Uh, how to make sure your body is working correctly? That's an interesting one because a lot of people don't actually know what optimal athleticism and health feels like but you know your body is working correctly when you just have an aura about you that is just energetic and I don't know your vitality is just just brilliant you know it's not just the body it's your mind as well it's all interconnected like the last I don't know this year I just felt I'm just feeling really good I'm just feeling really like vibrant. Actually, it's the same now. And last year as well, just been feeling more vibrant every single day, every single week. The last week in, in particular, I just felt more, just felt really vibrant and just feel really good. So that's how you know your body's working correctly. If you're, um, obviously, there's this thing called a detox, and that's when your body is getting rid of shit inside of you. And that's obviously from processed foods and all that junk. Um, so you know your body is working correctly when you're kind of getting rid of all that stuff um, and you can do that through like hot baths and stuff like that and the more raw foods you eat the more your body can actually detox but you know your body is working correctly when you just feel feel good and that feels that's obviously kind of different for everyone but for me that's just like mentally clear um, running I can just run around and just feel great um so yeah that that's to me is your body feeling good you just feel happy all the time you're smiling um you're singing you're dancing around all that kind of stuff that's that's when you know your body's working correctly next should we manage workload in the pitch if we have lots of lots of adhesions in the body everywhere so adhesions are fascial adhesions they're like little knots in your fascia and if you don't know what fascia is it's just from head to toe everything's uh, wrapped around in the fascia and connected by fascia um yeah you should definitely manage your workload like the more muscle driven you are uh, the less kind of 
training you can kind of do because you're using your muscles rather than your fascia. If you're using your fascia uh, and you're fascia driven, then the more kind of football and stuff you do, the better and more athletic you get. That's pretty simple. So yeah, definitely manage your workload. And yeah, I can, I play football like three, four, five times a week and I feel good. Um, and I play other sports as well, I like playing tennis, I like playing golf, I do some boxing here and there, so, and like walking and stuff like that, so, yeah, definitely manage your workload, but end of the day, just become more fascial driven, that's all inside um, other stuff, which you, you may know or not, just DM me if you, if you want to learn more. Um, I don't have barefoot shoes, so can I still go long run with my football shoes on? Um, well, ideally you can go for a run with your barefoot, uh, just barefoot normally, that'd be cool. Uh, that's, that's what I do sometimes, just like a jog with barefoot, and that obviously builds like ankle stiffness and foot functionality, but, um, I mean, if you're just running around in your football boots, you may as well just play football anyway, so, ideally you just don't want to be, um, wearing modern day cushion shoes much. And this is not just for athletes, this is for just people in general because it just destroys the foot function. I wear like Vans because they've got kind of like a, not much support and they're kind of flat. Um, so that's kind of the closest thing you can get to barefoot shoes in like the mainstream options. Um, but yeah, just go for riding in your like barefoot. It's, it's, it feels good anyway. Uh, do you always need to see the sunset despite you get little sleep? Um, well, the sunset should normally be about in the winter, maybe like four, five, six o'clock. So then you can go to sleep. And in the summer, it's usually like nine, ten o'clock sometimes. So yeah, just sleep after sunset. That's how the body's kind of meant to work. If you mean like the sunrise, then your body you just have to get more in tune with nature. Like I naturally wake up at about seven to 7.30 and the sun rises at about quarter past seven at the moment. So sometimes I actually miss the sunrise, but I'm still out in the first hour of the day. So that that's kind of how I do it, but it's all natural. I don't use like alarms anymore, any of that stuff. I just let my body sleep and just just let it get the, the the sleep and recovery it needs because your body knows best you know your body knows best your body will heal you uh what do you mean about sleeping in cold room uh do you mean the room is cold and i cover myself with a blanket yeah when you sleep you you want the temperature like between like 15 to 18 degrees celsius or 20 degrees the colder, kind of the better, because your body sleeps better in the cold. Um, if any of you have tried to sleep when it's like super hot outside or super warm in your bedroom, it's pretty hard. So sleeping when it's kind of cool is, is nice and you sleep much better. Um, and then you can also use more blankets, which is the way to go. Which team am I playing for? Uh, I'm playing for a team here in New Zealand. Uh, I won't give the Pacific name because I don't really need to, but I'm just enjoying my football at the moment. Um, just enjoying the trainings, enjoying the games, and just having fun, really. Do I want to go pro or not? Do I want to push to go pro? I'm not sure, really. Um, I'm just enjoying playing football and enjoying doing content like this, so that that's me at the moment. Uh... Right, next one, next one. Go a few more, go a few more. Um, can you make an Instagram group chat only including 35 people? I think it will be a great idea. Um, no, I won't because I want my content to reach a lot of people. And if you want, if you want closer like uh, connection with me, you can book like a one-on-one -on -one coaching session and we can talk about whatever you want literally any topic I'll cover and help you um, we're gonna in the future my my plan is to have like a private community similar to like Hamza 
from that uh, website called School and have like a private community and have like all my courses in there. You can chat in there, you can ask questions. It's gonna be sick. But that that is down the line. That probably be like 10 months down the line. Maybe this time next year it might be set up. But that, that's kind of the plan with that. Um, at the moment I'm working on a social media masterclass course and there'll be a group chat for that a telegram group chat where you can like ask questions and then you get coaching uh, that way uh, but no I won't make a group chat for 35 people um, my content I want to reach out to lots of people and help lots of people and inspire lots of people that's my kind of goal with the uh, the personal branding stuff uh, next one, should we sleep on the floor? Um, I don't. Um, don't think there's any need to torture yourself like that. You want the best. When sleep is where 90% of healing is done, sleep is very, very important. Sleep is more important than diet and exercise. So if you're sleeping on the floor and not getting good sleep, then you've got to rethink what you're doing. But if you're sleeping on the floor and you are getting good sleep and you feel better than ever then obviously just keep doing that um yeah insanity is doing stuff the same thing but it's not helping you know what i'm saying like if it helps for you to sleep on the floor then sure give it a go i've never really properly done that for a consistent amount of time so i can't really have an answer on that but to me i just sleep on a good mattress with a pillow and the room is dark and I have some blankets and I feel great with my sleep. So up to you, mate. You tell me, you do it for a week and tell me how you uh, you feel. Um, bro, I heard that doing isometrics can increase natural size, muscles. Can you explain or make a video on it? Um, so you think of like muscle building, that comes just from high testosterone and a good mitochondrial function which all the elite athletes have um it's not made like in the gym yeah you can make muscles by like doing your exercises and lifting weights like but that's artificial muscle it's not natural muscle size natural muscle size from comes from good health uh, mitochondrial function which is your engine so that means getting outside uh, optimizing your circadian rhythm your sleep your recovery um getting outside in the sun um and playing playing sport and just doing exercise that way like, i'm not that super big around the arms maybe because i don't really do any kind of like upper body sports maybe if i did swimming or something like that i'd have like big arms but my legs are like a decent decent size because i play football and run so you get what i'm saying that kind of comes from doing doing more of what you do uh you just mold to what you do in your childhood um so yeah uh tell us your story oh that's gonna be a long long video maybe i'll do a separate video on that tell us uh, my story uh it's running good for my health and athleticism um depends on your fashion fitness mate um there's no point running if you're just a muscle driven athlete and you just feel your quads and calves burn all the time but if you feel your glutes and hamstrings and abs and absolutely run as far as you can and as free as you can it'd be good for you but just play more of your sport and it's not just football i'm talking about i'm talking about all sports do more uh sport and just play different sports as well not just like stick to one sport i love playing like tennis i actually love tennis so good sport but yeah that was all the questions about 15 minutes of uh questions q a definitely want to do more of these might change up the topic so like questions about me questions about this questions about that we could do like different uh q a's uh but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the q a uh check my instagram check all that good stuff and yeah see you in the next one peace